Hello, my friends. Um, I might not have many out there, but I'm thankful for the ones I do have. First of all, I am trying to convince my mom that I am responsible enough to get a hamster. But, like, literally, who wouldn't want a hamster? It's like the best, best, best pet in the world. Who doesn't agree with me? Hello? Hello? Who doesn't? Like, literally. Yeah, see? I'm sure that there's no one that disagrees with me. But, just to make sure, we gotta tell you guys the side effects to hamsters. So, first of all, about hamsters, like, side effects, say, like I was saying. Um, first of all, they live one to five years, it, but it depends on the kind of hamster. So, like I'm going to say right now, do your research before you get a hamster. That's why I know all this stuff, because I've done lots and lots and lots of lots and lots of research. Second of all, um, water is very bad for their fur, so there's something called a sand bath. That's, um, just order some sand, kid sand, but it can't be like that colored sand, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, it can't be a colored, just brown sand. And just pour it in a small little cup and put it in your hamster's cage. Um, it doesn't matter where or anything like that. Just put it in your hamster's cage. And then you walk, walk, walk into it whenever he needs to clean his stuff off. So, se third thing I meant. Hamsters like to chew on things. So, like, um, and also just a little remind, oh, the yeah, I'm just going to tell you that you cannot make a box for them. Like, you cannot make a little cage for them out of cardboard because they'll chew right through it. And that's what I'm telling you. So get some chew toys from the, for them to chew on. And like, like every month, you just got to look at their chew toys really well and see if it's too chewed up. Also, they love to explore, so get one of those balls and they can just go like that. Um, and climb it all around. It's really fun to watch, and they can explore your house. Another thing is they're scared of big dogs. So make sure if you have a big dog in your house, just keep your hamster in a room that your dog doesn't cannot go in. Now, taking care of your hamster is a bit more responsible. You have to change their cage, like change out the bedding and that stuff. Just like look around, look at for where they pee, check on their food. Well, actually, look for where they pee every week, once a week. Um, and just check on their two toys too. Just in case they chew them, chew them, chew, chew, chew. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, clean their cage. Well, what I'm meaning is, so, you, like, change their cage, like, change the bedding once, once a week. Then clean the cage out, like, just clean clean all the bedding out and just look at all everything you just do that with white vinegar like you spray it with white vinegar and you wipe 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 then um for your food that you do one tablespoon of hamster food and a side of either fruits vegetables or protein Ugh. that's an intense yeah that's what you need. And also you gotta get natural bedding because natural bedding is like natural. And other things might have, like, you know, pests.
hamster sides and you don't want your hamsters having pets to side. Yeah, I know I'm saying English. Okay, another thing. Let your hamster explore your house, but keep a close eye on it. On your little hamster, because you don't want him like running off and you can't find him ever again. And then you find him like a year later, dead in your closet. Yeah, gross. And you don't want to see bones. Do ya? Okay, so yeah, I'm not going to tell you any more of that grossness. Another thing, it might not like if you put your hand in its cage. So just for safety, don't do that. Just had to tell you that for your safety. I don't want you to get hurt when you're like on my when you listen to my video. And now, last one is just like a simple rule of what you'll need to take care of your hamster. White vinegar to clean the cage, hamster food, and either some fruit, vegetables, or protein. Or you could do all three of those things. A sand bath, natural bedding, tunnels, because they really need a burrow, chew toys, a cage, and a rolling ball. Like one of those things that you get and there's a cap for it so they can just go in. You put the cap back in and they just roll it all around. And that's all actually. So tell me in the comments down below. Subscribe please. Just tell me on the comment, comments down below if you think I deserve a hamster and if I'm responsible enough. You know. Thank you. Love you guys. Bye, fans. Love you. Bye.